Welcome to Maze Leak Code Challenge. Today's problem is find duplicate file in system. Given the list paths of directory info, including the directory path and all the files with contents in this directory, return all the duplicate files in the file system in terms of their paths. You may return the answer in any order. Now, a group of duplicate files consists of at least two files that have the same content. Uh, so we can see we have a string, a single directory that's going to be uh, in this format. So uh, the first item in the string is going to be the folder path. Next is going to be the file name as well as the file content. Uh, and this is all split up by spaces here. So the first item is going to be the folder path and all the other items are going to be the file name as well as its file content. Now you can see the file content though is put into parentheses. So uh, we want to return uh, the output is a list of groups of duplicate file paths. So we have a list of lists with duplicate files that have the same content. Now they might not have the file na same name and they might obviously not might not be in the same folder path, but the content is going to be what matters. If they have the same content, then we want to put that into this list. Okay, so our approach is going to be straightforward. We're going to use a hash map and the key in this hash map is going to be the content, file content. So we can see with this answer here, we have three files, uh, root a two text, root cd four text, and root four text, and all those have the same content with efgh. So what we might do is just do a nested for loop, uh, move through every single string in our list, and kind of split it up by the uh, items that matter. And then we're going to add to our hash map with the content being the key to a list of the file path as well as its file name. And at the very end, we can go through our hash map and see if any of the values have a length of greater than one because that means there's going to be duplicate files. And if there is, then we'll add that to a list and then add that to, to our output list. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, let's first keep track of our file format here so that we don't lose track. First thing we're going to do is create a default dict. And we want the default value to be a list because we want to append to that. Uh, keep in mind this is going to be the key of with content and we could put a tuple I suppose as its value being the path as well as the file name so we'll call that path name okay so for path in paths what do we want to do well first we're given this string here so let's split it up by spaces so we'll say path equals path.split by space. Okay, now we have the folder, which is going to be path zero, and we have well, we have everything else, right? And that's going to be in a list, so we'll have to have another nested for loop here. So we'll say for um, it's called string in path from the second item onwards. The first thing we want to do is split the string for the file name and the content because remember the content is going to be the key. Uh, so to do that, um, it's a little bit tricky using this parentheses. So what I'm going to do is use this dot text here because we can assume that that dot text, well, they told us all the file names have dot text at the end and we shouldn't ever have a file name that says dot text dot text. I mean, we could, but let's just assume for now that we don't. So what we'll do is split this into the name and to the content. And to do that, I'm just going to split S uh, to equal split. And we'll split it by dot text here. Now name is going to be the first item and content is going to be the second item. And now we want to add to R default dict the content which is going to be the key and we'll append, let's see, we want to keep track of the folder path. So we want folder and we want the name. So let's make sure that this looks like how it's supposed to. Okay, so we can see like this is the uh, key, which is going to be the content and we have a tuple with the folder as well as the file name here. So all we need to do now is move through our dictionary and see if our length of any of these lists are greater than one. And if they are, then we are going to regenerate our string by adding the path. Uh, we need another slash, 
And we need to add the file name and then dot text to the end. Okay, so let's see. First, let's initialize our output, which is going to be a list. And for key value in c.items, uh, if the length of value is greater than one, meaning our length of a list is greater than one, so we have duplicates, then we want to move through our values. So for, uh, we'll call it, uh, it's a tuple, so we have the path and the name. So path name in V. We're going to add to our out. Oh, well, first let's initialize a temp list here. We're going to add to our temp string with the, let's see, path plus slash plus name plus dot text. And finally, when we're out of our for loop, we'll just append to our output the temp. Finally, return our output. So let's see if this works. All right, uh, it looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit this. And there we go, accepted. So there's really nothing tricky about this. It's just literally uh, doing a nested for loop and, and going through the whole thing. Uh, time complexity wise, uh, let's see. Uh, we definitely use O of n space. Well, I suppose it depends on what we mean by n because we have n being the number of strings that we have. But we also need m here. So maybe it's n times m being the length of how, how many items there are inside the string. Something like that. Okay, um, I'm sure there's some optimizations here, but I think this is good enough. So we'll end it here. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.